What is going on today, guys? So, let's make another video on the Comanche. Uh, I got it legal, finally. My buddy is gonna come help me. This is his, uh, whatever you wanna call this thing. So, y'all said y'all wanted me to buy a junkyard turbo instead of a brand new turbo. So my buddy was kind of building this setup for his Jeep. Uh, he's got this started already. This hooks to the header and it comes back around towards the front of the Jeep. I gotta finish going to the turbo. Uh, we got a new wastegate. We got pipes to come off the throttle body. Uh, we got a filter that has AC zip ties on there with screws and tape and whatever else to hold it together. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of turbo this is, but it has a ball bearing in here. So it's got a... Yeah, it's like an old power stroke, right? Something like that? Somewhere in there, guys. But he's got this bracket made already. Might do like a reinforcement or something. Um, he's already got this, so I can mount it to the end of the piece that hooks to the turbo after I'm done. I'm probably going to put studs in here, so I can just slide the turbo on it and fold it on. So right now we're going to go ahead and start taking the intake manifold off, power steering pump, the air box out, and we're going to get the header off of it as well. All right, guys, so the only reason I'm even thinking about doing this turbo setup and not just going to LS, I'll do the LS later, but for right now, this is the whole reason I'm doing this turbo setup. I think it's fine. I think it's just fine too. Uh, yeah. It, it'll buff. It'll Do you know what? Buff. I could probably use that manifold better for the turbo setup. Honestly. Because it'll come right out of that and I can just go straight up. Oh wow, they're not even going to snap? That's awesome. So Jeremy's going to go ahead and get the rest of the exhaust taken out. If he can. <laughs> I'm going to unbolt everything.
All right, guys, so I got the intake pulled off, the exhaust manifold pulled off. Uh, I got the power steering laying down here out of the way. This bolt right here on the motor mount, I'm gonna have to replace this because I can stick two fingers all the way through the motor mount. I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna have to switch this bolt around because the turbo right here, it, it mounts right here off of the motor mount. And reason being that's a, a good idea is because with it'll move with the motor. So as the motor comes up and moves or whatever it's gotta do, the turbo is gonna move with it. So it's not gonna bind up, break off, anything. Oh, no, I can't hear you. All right, go ahead, pull up. Uh, where's the carburetor at? Uh, I took it off already. Oh. I threw it in the trash. Uh, that's the thing that makes the thing go boom. Are these ejectors? Look at that one. Oh yeah, they're, they're no, dirty. No, 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 look at these ones. Oh, I couldn't really see that over there. They're yeah, pretty dirty. Alright, so it sits somewhere about right there. Why'd you put that manifold back in? Because this, um, this will mount right by the, or on the intake. Well, quick, Grab me the exhaust manifold. Let's put the intake back on too, because that's what I'm bolts to the intake. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set the... Wait, that's a, that's a pristine gasket you got there, bud. Thank you, sir. It's got a little bit of rubbage on it. Just a teensy bit, huh? Just a teensy bit of rubbage. I think so. Quality. There's that. So where's this? Just put one bolt in it for now. Just finger tight, right there in the middle. So it just holds it. Check with the manifold. Oh yeah, well, oh, I don't know. You can change the motor mount tomorrow anyway, don't you? Yeah, but I just want to see what it's going to look like. What was it said? He's just saying put one in there so hold it. Yeah, I didn't know if one went right there or not. Well, it's not a HO. It's a manifold. Yeah. Yeah, the HO's got the little slots ball. Yeah. This one's a little bit older. What? Which one did you break off? Huh? So you broke one off in the head? None of those. I broke the the one that goes in the fuel rail one off. Oh, nice. This one right here. I felt it getting tight, and I'm like, all right, it'll loosen. Think. You know my throttle hold down cable? Yeah. One of those broke off my intake. Cause they're so freaking small. Do you want the intake too? Uh, yeah, go ahead and bring it over here. Yeah, you're sitting on the turbo. The 2000 intake, didn't he? Yep. The horseshoe. Yep. So you're gonna have to get a different intake, aren't you? Mm, not necessarily. Probably make that work, but a little bit more finagling. Where's the? All right, guys. There you have it. I might either get a new intake or cut this bracket off right here and mount the intake. Mark where it needs to be, weld it up. This is where the turbo is going to sit. I'm going to cut a hole in the hood. About right there. I'm going to make sure that works with the hood closing so that I, I can pop the hood like a regular hood would pop. I'm going to have to move the computer uh, somewhere else. I'm not sure where exactly I'm going to put it. I might stuff it back there somehow. Anyways, the, man the exhaust manifold is on. Intake manifold, I might get a new one. I don't know yet. Uh, one of these is cracked right here somewhere. I gotta weld it up. I'm gonna wire brush everything, clean everything up. Everything's gonna be pristine, all welded. Everything's gonna look good. I'm gonna clean it all up before it goes in so it looks all nice and neat. And, cause this truck I just, I went OCD with it and I want it to look perfect. 
I'm gonna clean all these holes out. I'm gonna clean the valve cover gasket. I'm gonna change the valve cover gasket out. I'm gonna clean everything. It's all gonna look good. I'm not gonna half-ass nothing. I gotta get a new motor mount. That one right there is pretty, pretty whacked. So I'm gonna get a new motor mount so I know where this is actually gonna sit because it's gonna probably go up depending on when I put the new motor mount in because it's sitting down probably not a half inch because it's gotta be centered in there. So probably about a quarter inch. So it might be a little messed up. Uh, so anyway.